brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Emotional moments during day one of trial, Max Monobot sat beside his attorney, Randall Cunliffe, his family watching from behind. Prosecutor Peter Santos started off opening statements. James Paul Aguero lost his life on August 13, 2013, about 9 o'clock in the evening. This is a death case. This is a homicide case. That night, Aguero and his girlfriend Dory Manglonia were heading to their Jigo home on a moped. They made it as far as the Jigo Palace when the crash occurred. As we reported, Manabat was driving a Toyota Camry, attempting to make a left turn off Marine Corps Drive onto Jose Gallo Street. Max Theodore Manabat was driving that night in a negligent manner. <coughs> it's an unfortunate accident. Unfortunately, somebody lost their life. But the evidence will show that he is not guilty of this crime. Defense also told the jury what to expect as witnesses take the stand. You will hear from Dr. Espinola, the medical examiner, that Mr. Aguero, who was driving the vehicle, had a blood alcohol level of 0.116, which is over the legal limit. One of the first witnesses called up by the government was Aguero's girlfriend, Doreen. She contends Aguero had nothing to drink that night. She recalls that tragic day. You know, I just saw the car come from the end. It's like, it's like, whoa, I know it's going to hit. So I just yelled at his name, James. And that's all I remember that. And I'm waking up with smokes and emergency lights and people's feet running all around me. And James not answering at all. She suffered from multiple injuries. Also on the stand, witness Owen Lozano. He was in the car not too far behind Aguero that day. The moment uh, kind of hit the car on the passenger side. Um, and at that point, I saw the uh, driver at the moped, uh, uh, you know, uh, fall, or uh, kind of like he went airborne. Uh, when he hit the car uh, and at that point I, I slowed down uh, to make sure that, you know to to give some help I called uh, 911 um, I kind of directed the rest of the traffic away more witnesses are set to testify Manabat is facing a charge of vehicular homicide reporting for Guam's News Network Guahu Sinek Delgado brought to you by GTA your island your network